Hi everyone, welcome back to another video at Sefu.com. I'm Wani once again, Deputy Editor at Sefu.com. In today's vlog, we're going to go to Chubi Pizza here at Owen Road. I believe they're behind the same people of Old Hen and they recently opened. So I'm pretty excited to check them out. So let's go. So we're here inside Chubi Pizza already and it was such a relief being out of the heat. The aircon temperature here, I must say, is perfect. The atmosphere here is really chill. It's a bit dim, so it's cosy. There's a really warm ambience. And the first thing I noticed when I stepped in here was the smell and the aroma of the pizzas being cooked. So a little bit of background before we start talking about the food. So Chubi Pizza was born out of the owner's love for pizza and for the pizza to be a meal that is accessible, that's fun, that's casual and, and it's typically seen elsewhere at like slightly higher price points. Before he went into the pizza project, he did sourdough bread and um, as I was told, the process of um, making the dough for the pizza was very similar to sourdough bread that it requires live yeast and it's naturally leavened bread and the dough here is fermented at least for uh, 24 hours. The pizza style here is typically Napoli style pizza which um, is typically also cooked uh, in a wood fire oven so it's uh, cooked at a very high temperature and that's where you get all your really nice char on the crust. The dough here is airy and it's light and fluffy and they import as many Italian ingredients as possible so from the cheese to the flour to the tomatoes so another fun fact about this place is to pair with your pizzas they bring in a lot of craft beers and natural wines so these are wines that are as natural as possible as the name suggests nothing is added to it and nothing is removed so you have a selection of wines for you to choose from and although they don't put the price of uh, buy glass on the menu, you can definitely ask for them so you don't have to finish the whole bottle or feel obliged to order the whole bottle as well. So today we have four pizzas out of the, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pizzas that they have here. It's a very lean menu so you don't have or you won't have too much trouble choosing what you want but that only means in my personal opinion that they focus a lot on the quality of the pizzas that they produce so first of all we have the very basic pizza which is the margarita pizza uh, here they use obviously the San Marzano tomato fior di latte pecorino basil and olive oil very simple but a classic you can never go wrong with it and then over here we have the spiced coconut chicken um, it's an Asian take of a chicken um, pizza because they use tom kha sauce, which is a Thai sauce, chicken Thai, mushroom, onions, um, grana, padano, mozzarella, coriander. For those of you who may not really like coriander, you can obviously ask for it to be removed, and chili oil. So it might pack a little bit of heat, but not too much that you won't taste the ingredients. Uh, the third pizza we have is, uh, I think, I believe would be a crowd favourite, would be the truffle mushroom. There's bechamel, portobello, onion, mozzarella, parmigiano, reggiano and truffle oil. And the last but not least is, I think, I believe, uh, from what I see here, it's like their take on a Hawaiian pizza. But it's a pulled pork pizza, which uses bulgogi, pork shoulder, fior di latte, um, kimchi, uh, pineapple and fig chutney. The one that I'm going to be most interested in trying out will probably be the pulled pork only because you don't typically see kimchi on the pizza. Um, so, you know, let's dig in right now and see if it impresses me. Let's first start with the pulled pork, the one that I was most interested in trying. So this was the one with um, pork shoulder, bulgogi, kimchi, pineapple and fig chutney. So the flavour is like really full and I think if I took a bite of it with the kimchi which I'll just try separately just for the sake of it It's got a really tangy kick It cuts into the richness of the bulgogi really well and the dough is a great vehicle because it soaks up everything but it doesn't sog 
So it, and it still remains um, light and airy. Let's move on to the next pizza. So we'll try the truffle mushroom, which I said I assume would be the most popular one because you know truffle oil is all the rage now. So they have an incredible char, which is obviously due to the high temperature in the oven, and we have the unmistakable aroma of truffle. The aroma of the truffle is the first thing that hits you when you take a bite, more so than the taste of the pizza, which is something I love when it comes to truffle things. The whole point of truffle, I feel, is to get an aroma of the ingredient rather than the taste. And as you know, or if you have eaten truffle on its own before, you'll know that it has a very uh, light flavour as opposed to the fragrance of it. But it's really good. So this is the classic margarita pizza. You can't really go wrong with it. And when I eat a margarita pizza, what I really want to taste is the tomato. So since I said earlier they use the San Marzano uh, tomatoes, you should be able to taste a really strong, punchy tomato flavour. For someone who isn't a big fan of raw tomatoes, this tomato flavour is just perfectly balanced. It's got acid, it's got tanginess, it's got sweetness. And then the cheese, you've got the robust cheese to kind of really amp it up. This is a really good bite. Next one we have here is the spiced coconut chicken, which is um, a twist on a, just a regular chicken pizza. So of course it's got tom kha, tom kha sauce, which is I believe a Thai sauce, and some chilli oil to be drizzled as well. So let's see if it really packs a punch as it promises. Mm. If you absolutely love Thai food, right, you will completely fall in love with this because it's got the aroma of something that's so familiar. It's got a bit of an even a lemongrass fragrance and a hint of coriander. I mean, maybe not so good if you don't like coriander, but I'm okay with it, so I love it. It's really good. I think you should really try this out. It's a really alternative take to an Asian pizza. And that's it. These are the four pizzas that we're trying today. So I just left Chubby Pizza and I am absolutely full. If I had to really choose two pizzas to recommend you guys, it would be the Spiced Coconut Chicken and the Pulled Pork. Mainly because they're different, but also because I feel like they're the most robust in flavours. Uh, don't forget to pair them with the natural wine selection that they have as well as the craft beers which are on rotational basis. So you'll never know what you're going to find every time you come into the place. Um, yeah, so that's all. From me, I'm going to head home, fall into a food coma. And this is Wani from Sefli.com signing off. Bye, see you in the next video.